Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today I have a user question that I wanted to share with you. Basically, this is a user from US and his name is Paradox and earlier he had emailed me regarding RAM. He wanted to use, uh, he wanted to clarify that whether 8 GB of RAM is sufficient or he should go with 12 GB and I suggested that he should go with 8 GB and if it's not adequate then move to 16 GB and at that time he did not give me much details but now again he has emailed me with a lot of details actually he's going to make a new pc and uh, i'm going to talk about the same i'm not going to read the entire email at a stretch because it's a huge and i have divided the email into parts so let's get on with it uh, it starts thank you so much for your help i'm using a 64 bit and that is going to be on my new desktop i'm going to go with an intel core i7 processor windows 7 64 bit and a nice new motherboard case video card etc do you think i should wait till the next windows operating system comes out since my whole build will cost a lot and i mostly likely won't be able to buy another custom build for another five years or so paradox the thing is that uh, as you're going to choose the i7 processor that's a good thing uh, regarding waiting for the next uh, build of windows i would not suggest that because uh, as you might have known windows 8 the developer build which is not even a beta build was just released to the uh, developers recently and it will be almost uh, about a year uh, i expect windows 8 to come out uh, approximately in the second quarter of 2012 so there's no point waiting if you need the computer right now for your needs also paradox you asked me that you're going to approximately use this computer for about five years and you ask will it be sufficient for your needs uh, i don't know uh, that w will it be sufficient for your needs or not because it basically will depend upon your usage but let me give you my personal uh, experience uh, the last custom pc that i had built uh, prior to this i7 that i built in 2011 was in 2007 and that was a core 2 quad processor that and at that time that was one of the best processors intel processor that you could buy and to be frank till date that machine works excellent it's just that in 2011 uh, because i have started to work with a lot of video and making these youtube videos i felt that that core that core to quad was a little bit under par for my needs that computer is even fantastic for every other task even now so i think so this i7 should suffice you for approximately even about four or five years i personally do not uh, upgrade my cpu with every release i generally wait for about at least two generations of processor before upgrade and next he goes with at the moment uh, i'm using a laptop for everything it has a 500 gb hard drive 4 gb of ram amd vision and runs on windows 7 uh, home 64 bit this is the third year of using it and I have went with many internal hardware problems that had to be sent and fixed by HP. This computer is just too slow for me. I understand all computers get slow with time but I am looking to for a custom build on, for my own desktop since desktops have always been my personal preference. Don't worry about all the other factors since everything uh, should jive together and when I go and buy everything. Okay, let me answer this. Uh, the thing is that paradox uh, generally if you are going to compare a laptop with a desktop uh, generally a desktop will be much more powerful than a laptop because of the simple reason that the uh, uh, processor and the chips that go in the desktop are much more powerful compared to the chips that go in the laptop in the laptop generally low powered chips go and they are a little bit slower than the desktop uh, counterparts again that again is uh, relevant to the hard drives so generally if you're going to build a desktop uh, it's going to be much faster than your laptop and the advantage of building a custom desktop is that you can exactly configure as per your needs so if you want to have a, a larger hard drive or larger ram you can do that uh, he continues i am just wondering if i should get 8 or 12 looks like 12 gb isn't the way to go although you said 16 gb near the end this was uh, in the earlier mail i had told him to go with 8 gb ram or 16 I'm trying to make my desktop as new as and updated as possible. In the same paragraph, you have another question. I'm going to repeat it. Since RAM is random access memory, does that mean if I were to have 4 GB of RAM today and use my computer for a year, will I still have 4 GB of RAM for a year from now? Paradox, you are basically confusing uh, the RAM with hard drive. 
with the hard drive if you use the hard drive the space available on the hard drive gets reduced for example let's say you have a 100 gb of hard drive right now and let's say you have used about 70 gb of that you'll have just 30 gb of space but ram doesn't work like that let's say for example let's say you have 8 gb of ram so what happens is that whenever a program needs to be used your computer will load uh, that program in your ram and uh, uh, basically it's not ram is nothing like it's permanent storage whenever you switch off your computer or everything all the programs that were loaded in the ram will get unloaded the ram gets emptied so it's not a fixed storage ram is basically anything stored in the ram is temporary and whenever the program is no longer needed your computer will remove that program from the ram so your 8 gb or whatever you have right now even after two years it will be that whole 8 gb will be available to your computer i hope uh, this example makes sense the thing is that uh, paradox uh, i suggested you 8 gb of ram because 8 gb is actually more than enough for 95 percent of the users again uh, i did not recommend you to go from 8 gb to 12 gb and directly jump to 16 gb is that uh, basically i wanted you to go with the motherboard that supports four slots of ram so with 8 gb of ram you can use uh, two ram slots of 4 gb each that is 4 4 into 2 8 gb and for 16 gb again you can use two more uh, 4 gb slots so that the total will be 16 gb generally to take advantage of dual channel ram you need to have ram in pairs 2 4 if you have an odd number like 3 the dual channel efficiency will not come, to, come into picture that's why my reason was go for 8 or 16 not 12 and he continues the only reason why I'm trying to research is because I do not want to buy something like 8 GB of RAM and having the need to upgrade. It's just that I want to want this uh, custom desktop to last me for a long time and stay fast. Since all computers I have dealt with slow down around its third or sixth year, I like a PC to be always fast. Uh, paradox, uh, the thing is that uh, upgrading RAM in a custom PC is one of the most easiest thing that you can do and that is the reason I say that just initially go with 8 GB of RAM because that's more than enough and if you require if you feel even feel uh, then your PC is slow then you can upgrade to 16 GB of RAM because it's very easy to do the same and right now the RAM is really cheap I don't know the exact pricing but you can get 8 GB of a DDR3 RAM for about $50 and the next thing is that uh, uh, you have mentioned that since all the computers have dealt with slow down with third or sixth year I like a PC to be always fast the reason uh, that uh, generally it's not just your PC it's the like every PC uh, will generally get slow over time it's because of uh, the things that we use uh, constantly the things we uh, constantly load program uninstall program install new program all these uh, things uh, basically pile up and in turn over time it causes your computers to go slow personally what I do is that almost every one and a half to two years basically I uh, 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 remove everything and reinstall Windows fresh basically I know it's a pain in the butt to reinstall everything but uh, I how however fast your computer might be you need to do this periodically about every two three years otherwise your PC is going to get slow I'm afraid if I do a custom build now while forking out a ton of money, new technology will come into place and I won't be able to upgrade since I won't have the money and I have a brand new desktop. Lastly, how long do you think it will be for all these things to happen? For technology is changing by the second. How long will it be till 8 GB RAM becomes standard? Until Core i9 comes out or even the next Windows of operating system comes out? Uh, paradox, the thing with technology is that uh, things keep on changing constantly because uh, uh, processor manufacturers like Intel and AMD almost every other year they come out with new uh, processors and generally technology changes so if you are going to keep on waiting for the most advanced technology you will be waiting throughout your life the thing is that if you need your computer right now build it just don't wait because if you keep on waiting for newer technologies to catch up and you want the latest you'll be waiting throughout your life lastly he says i am a more of a multitasker video editor doing lots of downloading and uploading watching videos chatting doing homework research and a lot of stuff at once all and i want a computer that can do all of this 
without even getting slowed down. Plus, I may even play high-end games on this new custom build. Paradox, the thing is that uh, basically, uh, if you want to do gaming with your computer, you need a powerful graphic card. But if you're not going to do gaming, you do not need a powerful graphic card. Because if you're going to use the Intel i7 chip, uh, basically on this chip, there is a built-in graphic chip. So you do not need to have an external GPU unless you're going to play high-end games. Also, one more thing uh, you did not ask me, but I'm going to suggest that as you want a very fast computer, I would suggest that you add a small SSD like 80 or 90 GB and make that as your boot drive and add an additional traditional uh, hard drive of whatever 500 GB or one, one terabyte for your actual storage. By having this SSD as your boot drive, your computer will be really fast. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, click on the like button given below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.